game one three kicked off really fast. Uh, Roger was eager to get it started. Um, it's become quite a popular show for us, so we wanted to start it as soon as possible. Uh, we usually wait for the first of every month, but um, we started in the middle of the month. It, the weather's been pretty bad this, this past month, a lot of rain, so we've not been to many core boots. I've been going around my usual places where I check for, for bargains, like charity shops, I've been looking online at like on Facebook selling pages, stuff like that. I can't remember what I'll call. I only got to a couple of car boots this month. Uh, the first one I went to was with Danny and Aiden. Didn't get much, there was nothing there for me really. I picked up a couple of like boggling in the pockets, but nothing game related that I could use for bargain. I can't remember how we even started this then. In the car on the way there, I said I was looking for an original Game Boy for myself. Didn't find anything for Bar Game Hunt on that day, but I did manage to find a, a little car boot that we go to. An original Game Boy in a carry case um, with four games. I actually found quite a bit of stuff, but a lot of stuff that I wanted to keep. So I ended up buying five Game Boy games, uh, Mass Effect 2, and I got a Wii Sports and they ended up being pound each for everything apart from Mass Effect 2 which I paid two pounds for. Um, so I ended up with Wii Sports for a pound for um, for a bargain one which I think is good because for some reason it's it's going for a pretty penny at the minute so yeah it should sell okay. So I was really happy to get a Game Boy after saying that's what I was after because um, I could start a collection for it now. The four games I got with that was Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan, Tetris, Wave Race and Super Mario Land. The second time we all went out to the car boot, we went to our usual one. As soon as we got in there, I just thought, right, I'm not going to get anything kind of walking around with these guys. So I just kind of bolted off and went went around as quick as I could to try and see if I could get anything before these guys went and got it before me. Um, I went past a few things that these guys have picked up and I asked the prices. I wasn't really wanting to pay what they was, was trying to sell them for. Um, as soon as we got in there, everyone dispersed. Um, so we all went out on our own, and it was quite it was quite a lot of stuff there actually. managed to find a Resident Evil 6 on the Xbox 360. It was the special tin edition, but I bought that for myself and it, I think he wanted £8 for it. I paid a fiver, but I just got that for myself really. But I did manage to find a store which was selling uh, little Nintendo keychains, um, little Luigi, so I bought, I bought one of those. I uh, picked one up for Carl as well, sent that over to him uh, and I bought one for myself. I had a good look round, didn't really see anything. Um, somebody was setting up later on and um, I saw him pull out a PS2 and games and stuff. I asked him how much he wanted for it and he said 30 quid, um, which is ridiculous really. So I said, I'm not looking to pay that. I said, I offered him 10, uh, to which he said no. So I just carried on, went on looking for something else. I also picked up an official Nintendo carry case for the Game Boy, full, still boxed. And I handpicked through some PlayStation 2 games. I got the Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear 3, a couple of Raymans, some Lego Star Wars, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. The first thing I came across was a Namco plug and play and um, she wanted £2 for it, which was already reasonable. I've already got this plug and play and it's a really good one. Um, it's got a good feel to it. Um, so I didn't know whether it's worth anything, but I asked her if she wanted a pound for it. She said 150 and I was with my little boy and he just picked up um, an Optimus Prime uh, figure off her stall and I said, I'll give you £2 for the figure and the plug and play and she went, go on then. So I ended up getting it for a pound. Everyone had got something I hadn't. I noticed the guy was still there with the PS2, so on the way out, I just said to him, Well, mate, I'm going now. Uh, will you take 15 quid for that PS2 stuff? And he said, Yeah. So I managed to get a PlayStation 2, 
uh, which is in fairly good condition. All the wires for it, a light gun, uh, a controller, and eight games with it. So I just up from uh, where I bought the plug and play, there was somebody else selling a Sega Master System, and you don't see them a lot uh, these days on car boot sales. So I wanted to buy it anyway, uh, even though I've already got one. I thought it would be good for a bar game if I could get it at a good price. He wanted seven pounds for it. I offered five, and he took five. As we were picking up the PS2, I noticed he had a Pokemon DS carry case there. Um, so I said how much you want for that, he said a pound, I said no worries, took it for a pound. There was some decent PS1 games and they were in really really good condition, there was Grand Theft Auto uh, and Space Invaders and I opened up the actual um, boxes and the Grand Theft Auto has got, the it's complete, it's got the map, it's got poster with it and, um, and all the inserts and it doesn't look like it's ever been played, the same with Space Invaders. Um, I asked her how much she wanted for the PS2 game, she said a pound each, and then I said how much do you want for these older games, you know, look, throw a little bit of a curveball in there, and she said 50p each, so I uh, ended up getting them both for 50p. My first purchase was off eBay. Now, I often am looking for Pokemon items, and I've been seeing a lot recently that seem to be underpriced. So, I saw a lot for f with five Pokemons in the Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, Green and Red. All in the Game Boy Advance and it was for a good price. It was around about £14. Um, I put a bid at the end, sniped it for £18 something I think it was. When they came, I suspected they may have been fake. Genu genuine ones have a, a number stamped into them on the top of the card, and these didn't have that, so that was the first warning sign. Uh, on closer inspection, there's a few other telltale signs. Not all the stickers are, are, are on flush. Um, the Nintendo logo looks a bit dodgy, and also, on the boards themselves, they've got Nintendo written on, and. Uh, a unique board number, and that's what they should have, but they all have the same board number on. So I contacted the guy, called him out, he, uh, he played dumb at first, um, but when I threatened to take it to eBay, he uh, soon changed his tune, he gave me a full refund, and uh, I reported him. Stickers! Stamps! Boards. <laughs> to a couple of options, saw some stuff um, that I thought would be good for bar game on, uh, but while we were bidding for them, I think one of them was uh, two PS2s with about 30 games, uh, controllers and stuff, and it went for 22 quid, so obviously that's over the 20 pound and we can't, can't do it with that. Because I didn't really get anything for bar game on, I had to look elsewhere, and I stumbled across some stuff in a charity shop. Um, I went into it, Having a look around, usual usual spots, checking the electronics bit, and then in like the, just where the toys were, there was four PS2 controllers and, and multi tap, and they weren't priced up or anything. They just sat in this basket, and I, I asked the lady, I said, "Is there a, is there a console with this? Is there any games?" Blah blah. blah. She said, "No, they've just come in this morning. Um, I've not priced them up yet." Um, I went, "All right, what are you thinking?" And she's like, "I don't know." I went. I'll, I'll give you two quid for them all. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. To top it off, I bought myself uh, a NES lot with quite a few games in it, and some of them were doubles, which I, I used for, um, I was gonna use for bargain. One of them was Super Mario 3, which was £2.20, and Gremlins, which was 99p. Three days later, I went into the same shop, and the woman recognized me, and she said, actually, in another bag upstairs was a console and it was the PS2 console. It was in horrible, horrible state, dust state, battered, there's a crack on it, and she just went, made me an offer, and I said, I'll give you five quid for it. I've not even tested it, I'm not gonna test it. I'm gonna just put it on as a, a faulty PS2. I think in total I spent eight pounds. Yeah, I spent eight pounds. Um, so I think for what I've got, I should, I should do okay. In total, I spent 13 pound 20. All the PS2 games were a pound each. The carry case at the box was a pound. The keychain was a pound. Uh, overall, my total spend 
dollars, fifteen pound for the PS2, the light gun, and everything, the games, and one pound on the DS case, the Pokemon case. Uh, so that's sixteen pound, which is quite a lot really for what I've got. Total spend this month was a grand total of eight pounds, and usually on board game month, I try to spend as much as I can to try and get the biggest profit, but. This time I thought I'll try and spend a little, as little as I can, because I thought if I can spend 50p a year, a pound a year there, and on items that I know that will make more than that, then I've got a really good chance of winning. So that's what I've done this time. I've kind of been a bit clever with it, so hopefully it'll work out. So the results are in. Uh, we finally sold all of our stuff for Bar Game on. This one's dragged on for at least six months. <laughs> <laughs> we did it quicker this time, didn't we? Yeah, we tried to do it quicker, but it just ended up not being quicker. We got the first bit quick, didn't we? The first bit went really quick. Yeah. You know, and then... Uh, and shit happened. Yeah. So, let's get to it. Are we going left to right, or low, lowest first? Lowest profit first? We'll, we'll go with you, Raj, first. Go lowest to high, so yeah. we can... Well, I made a loss. Again, for the second time in the series, I made a loss. Do I need to say anything more than that? Well, how, how much of a loss did you make? How much of a loss? It wasn't that much of a loss. How much do you stuff so far? Right. <laughs> I've got it just, just here, Johnny. So I bought my PlayStation 2 yeah. and it sold for a £13.29. The guy wanted 30 quid for it originally. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, I laughed. Imagine if you'd have bought it for anywhere near that. Uh, yeah. I also bought. Uh, black and white official Nintendo DS carry case. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon one. For 99p. <laughs> Which is it for? It's sold for 99p. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So you lost. So I lost £1.72. Minus. Debt. Minus. What, what can you do? Can't win them all, can you? Can't win them all. Sometimes you lose them horribly. Yeah, sometimes you win them, but you wouldn't know about that feeling, would you, Johnny? Yeah, not bad. Not <laughs> <laughs> Never lost anything. Right, so who came uh, third? Uh, next to last. Well, next to last. Th third. I made a profit. Right. Just, just putting that out there nice to one. start with. Right. It's always helpful. Um, it took a little while for all my items to sell, uh, but they eventually did. Sold everything, and it totaled twenty pound sixty-two p. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Decent. Fine. Semi decent. Hey, seven quid, seven quid, and the day better than losing one pound seventy-two. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, I uh, overall we won't, won't be too too far off. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> on. This this is this is this is going to be all night now. There's going to be underlying one pound more than you a year. Come on, <laughs> 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 you can see I'm nervous because I'm between them both. So who won? No, it's I'm gonna go Well that's what I'm saying. Right. If they were gonna know that Danny won if you fucking go next, aren't they? Right. <laughs> Professional as ever here. Okay, so who came runner up this month? Oh. Is it Danny or is it Aiden? Is it Aiden's already won one? Is it I've won one. Give my call second to Ed one. So who is it? Who who's who came who came second? Who is it? Who is it? Okay. Who is it? I'll step forward. After spending eight pounds, all my items sold for thirty-eight pounds and thirty-eight pence. So I made a total of thirty pounds and thirty-eight pence. What I did was instead of selling my PlayStation Two lot all together, I separated each and every one of them. So all the controllers separated, and the, the console on its own are separated as well. Doing that, I think, kind of bumped the, got it up for me. Also, another thing that sold very well for me was the Xbox uh, Grand Theft Auto. I didn't think you'd get much for that. To be went for seven pound. Went for seven pound and five pence. Because it weren't complete, really. It was just the no. It was just that one. But pe that obviously, one. people would be collecting it and trying to get it all together. Yeah. yeah. So that, that that one did me proud. So yeah. It's a good profit, aren't it? Thirty yeah. quid. It is a good profit, yeah. From eight. A bit better than seven pound. I was happy with that. A lot better than one. But might losing one pound. Sixty. Whatever. And for a time we thought that and I was... Win I won last time, didn't I? Yes! And you've won this time. So that means we've all won one. 
Uh, oh, apart from you, John. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I haven't lost any money. I've never I'm, lost any money. I thought it was a competition. Stop it, don't. Who yeah. can make the most money? Yeah. I'll just, just make some money. Just make some money. That'd be, that'd be good. It's fine, I have made money. Probably more than you. You haven't right. lost one pound. Can I, can I, don't steal my thunder here now. I've, I've won here. Right? Don't steal it. Well, well, what it was, my item sold before Danny's sold so we thought that mine was like the score like the, the score like i thought yeah i thought i was I, i've won and then he listed his stuff a few days later it was a no-brainer and i handed it over to you because <coughs> i bought obviously obviously <laughs> te- cheers Adrian. Um, <laughs> i'll take it from you i'll take it from you basically one the biggest shock for me was the master system because he didn't even walk past it. He wanted seven quid. He walked yeah, past I, it. Yeah, I was like, and I was seven like, quid. take a fiver for it. And he said, yeah, I'll take a fiver for it. And it ended up selling for twenty-four pounds and fifty pence. That's what I heard of. And I, I just because I, you know, you usually can pick them up if you wait and you buy your time. Maybe, maybe Roger bought it for next month's bargain. <laughs> <laughs> I made forty-seven pound thirty-five, um, which again was unbelievable, really, considering what I got and. Um, Minus the eight pound. That's uh, I, I did spend eight pound, didn't I? Yeah, it's really down there. So it was thirty nine. Summer. Yeah, that wee sport. So I, I, I basically beasted it. So that's <coughs> twice because last time I got wee sports on its own. Mm. You put no it, disc, no case. Yeah. Uh, no just disc. a blank case. No, no sorry. <laughs> yeah. well, a disc with a case and it went for seven quid. Yeah, yeah. So we if you see Wii Sports, get it. Everyone it. wants it for now. Just stockpile it. Yeah. It's fucking Why ridiculous. is everybody after that? Can I even take it? Well if you can't let us know because I would love to know. Because I understand that it's a really good game and people want it. But, but most people would have had it. It's like there was like six it's like sixty million in circulation, yeah. probably more. They were packed in, weren't it? Yeah. Awesome. So I'm like guessing six. people have strange re bought a Wii and not have it. Because yeah. do, do, Wii's have got cheap, <clears> right? Yeah. People are buying the Wii's again. Yeah, but you wouldn't think they'd be they'd be hard to come by. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? They're not. But well, we find them all the time. Yeah. So yeah, I won. It's like printing your own money if you find one of those. Yeah. So that's it for this year, isn't it? You're not going to say congratulations or anything? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm waiting for a clap. All right. Thanks very much. Finally, finally won something. You've, you've, you've absolutely not, smashed it. It's not off, not off that I win. So smashed you know, it. like <laughs> acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. You know. So well, yeah, well done. Yeah. Quite like that. Well done. Knocked it out of the park. I did. I did. You lucky bastard. So the hunt was still on. <laughs> <laughs> the hunt. <laughs> the hunt. Oh. I don't look around and I went back to it. <laughs> 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 uh, something about him, and then but one of them go, hey. <laughs> I'm telling you, it looked well for me. I honestly have no idea what the hell. Right. Let me just get through this. I'll do it. I don't care if it's me, but I'm telling you. Yeah, but I don't even understand what that's got to do with anything. Because it doesn't. That's what's funny about it. So you guys, like, someone says facts, and then one of us go, you're a little bit like the guy from Anchorman who goes, I love lamp. Just go, ooh, or something. It just looks well funny, I'm telling you now. I don't mind being you're that guy. I don't mind being that guy. <laughs> you are that guy. It fucks me up you. Honestly. I want to be that guy. I saw that guy still hadn't sold the PS2, so I went up to him and said, look at me. Look, guy. <laughs> look, you, look, look, you fucking guy. You get my dog. <laughs> Fuck it, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs>